We're going to continue on the project data input screen. We covered the first two popovers. Now we're going to move to the third and fourth. The budget portal is a consolidated view of all the team members and a roll up for all the team members to show the summary totals for the application. You have this like you had in the team member assignment where you can jump from screen to screen and person to person. Uh, this is for the 200 and the power plant project. And if I scrolled through it, I can also go over here and say edit that particular record. And I can edit it in this table, which is, by the way, the next screen that we're going to be looking at and the next popover uh, that we're working with. This, this allows you to do a little interesting, interesting kind of things. You can edit from the screen and update any of the records. Uh, but typically what you'd want to do is you'd want to go ahead and identify if somebody has completed their task either over or under budget you may want to annotate that in the actual record that you're working on. Now you don't have to jump from this record here to go back to the uh, individual team member assignments. What you can do is you can jump up here and then go into them from here for the team member portal and assignments. You can navigate back and forth. Let's go back to the data and show you that we're now we're going to look at the next thing, which is the project vendors. There is another screen that we're going to be working on that we're going to go to from here. Now, this is a listing of the project vendors for this particular project through the selection process. Now, I'm going to click on one of these and I'm going to go over and look at it for Stewart Electric. Stewart Electric is in the uh, selection phase until they actually are given a contract. Uh, or if they provided you with a proposal to do the work that you're requiring of them. Typically, if you have outside uh, vendors that are doing work for you or they're doing other assignments, you would create a new record in here and then go ahead and add the information for that record individually. Or you can start the actual entry by adding it in that last screen we're in. But I suggest you come over here and just take the information and put it in appropriately for a vendor. In this case, you would start it by putting in the project number that you're doing for selection of this particular uh, client vendor. And you can see up here at the top, this is right from the data uh, input screen to identify which project you're actually in. So you, when you start adding the record for a new one here, that that information is going to be based on that project. Uh, let's talk about selection. Uh, if you're going to have some items that are going to be added together for a vendor, you would hold vendor meetings for making a decision if that's the company that you want to go with for this project. You can have them uh, receive an RFP uh, for a request for proposal that you can send them and they can provide information and then you can document that information down here as far as you may have an initial meeting with them, maybe a follow-up meeting, and then as you scroll through you can add additional information about the vendor themselves and the issues you may have either with their uh, RFP or whatever, you can keep on covering that information. And then if you make the selection and award this to the vendor, you're going to be putting in a budget level up here based on the information that's coming through these an individual deliverables that they're going to be providing you with. The deliverables are up to you how you specify them. Now you go in and maybe you have within your specification systems, you have a vendor that has a certain capability that you know is available or one or more of them and you can put in what you think their budget would be based on what they provide to you in their in their proposal to do the work and you put their deliverable dates and the contact for the person for Stuart and what obviously the project you're working within and then what area what type of thing are they actually doing one's doing a specification equipment and cabling to award a twenty three thousand two hundred dollar contract to this particular uh, vendor. So you have a way to track back and then actually see what their deliverables are that they're supposed to be providing and at what date they're going to supposed to do that. Uh, down here as far as the city and the address, this is the principal city and address for this particular vendor. I didn't fill them in uh, but you would do that when you're adding information. And as you look down here you can see that these have stacked information. It has the project number and the meeting agenda what things you're going to cover at this particular meeting, the date of the meeting, the time of the meeting, and a meeting description also for this particular area down here. What you would do is you'd put in the time and the description of the items that you need to get in detail, and then the meeting action items and meeting uh, things that come out of the meeting. 
Uh, say, for example, this was a selection process where we're actually selecting this vendor. There may be things that they're going to give you to provide a clear uh, indication of what they can do, showing their capabilities, and then their costs that are related to it up here in the liberals. That information is transferred by you into your own uh, project data for the selection. And then you can always drop back in and look in and see what things you assume they were going to do and how they were going to do them and what the individual costs were for those items and what actions they had to complete in order to provide the deliverables that you are expecting them to give you. Now you can put an infinite number of records in here for this particular thing. Each time you go to one record and create it, it's also going to create another blank one beyond it so that you can continue on putting in information for as many records as you need to. So this pretty much covers the vendor assignment. If you have additional questions about how this is running or how it's supposed to be used, you can always contact the developer on the developer website. Thank you.